Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part. We are jumping straight into today's video and we're starting here in Chase's office. As you can see from far away, it looks nice and clean and tidy, but the truth is my house gets dirty. We live here just like anybody else. And so we're gonna be working on some home repairs. Um, I'm not gonna name names who did this, but it's definitely a big white fluffy dog. Um, he definitely tries to protect our home while we're gone and we get a lot of deliveries. So his nails have messed up the windowsill. His nose has got all my blinds and gotten dirty, but I want you guys to see this isn't a big deal. We can fix it. It doesn't even take long if you just know what you're doing so there is the criminal himself but it's okay we love him so the first thing I grabbed is this product off Amazon I saw someone using it so I wanted to test it out to see if it actually worked um, I will say I love it so keep watching it's basically like a big white crayon like the whole tube is like that you can just peel off the paper and you just rub it into the scratches or the dents or whatever you have and then once you're done with that I'll show you the next steps here in a second but first just go through on all those scratches scratches and make sure they're nice and filled in. I am going to link this down below in my description box. It is super affordable. I want to say it was like three bucks and I used it on a ton of places and barely made a dent. So it's a very good value for your money. I wanted to create this video because I don't care if you love your house or you're listing your house, you're gonna have to do home repairs. So personally, if you list your house and you've done these easy, affordable repairs, it's gonna help you sell faster and for more money. If someone comes in and they have a lot of projects, even though they're easy to do, they're gonna wanna bring that number down so they can either hire someone out or they know it's gonna take time to get it done. And that's probably why you've been putting it off, but typically it doesn't take that long and it doesn't take that much money. And it's just very visually pleasing to the eye to come in and see stuff like this done. You don't wanna look like your house is very lived in when you're trying to sell it for the most amount of money. Um, or if you love your house, it's just good to take care of it. You wanna be there a long time. You don't wanna destroy it. So whether you love it or listing, definitely work on home repairs. If you are listing your house, I'm gonna be coming out with a video here shortly on how to stage your house if you're selling. So definitely make sure you're following here if you wanna see a video like that as well. Okay, let me get you caught up. So I gave Chase the little chalk pen thing. I'm not exactly sure what it is, but the miracle worker and he's working on the windowsill. And then I just have a magic eraser and I like to cut them into fourths because they go away so quickly. And I feel like um, you just go through less that way. And all I did was get it wet and then wring it out. And I'm just wiping down all those areas um, on the windowsill that are dirty. It does not take long to do and they will look brand new when they're done. So it's one of those things you put off because you have so many other things going on, but it won't take long. So as you can see right here, this is what it looks like once you've filled all of those scratches and nicks, whatever's gone on there. And it says to take like a card or something flat and scrape the excess off. I will say do that, but then after that, go ahead and take a sandpaper and just lightly sand it and make sure it's nice and smooth so when you paint it, there's no bumps. Um, now, it doesn't say you have to do that step, but I did it both ways and I highly suggest just doing a light sand and then running your hand over it just to make sure it's nice and flat and smooth.
Now this is what it's gonna look like once you're done um, filling it in and then scraping it and sanding it and it really does not take long at all. I think from start to finish on this entire um, like windowsill, it was maybe 30 minutes, but I wanted you to see up close it doesn't match because the white in my house has a cream tone to it. If you had a very bright white trim windowsill, you may not even have to paint it and no one would notice. I still think you should because I think it just adds that extra touch. But since ours were different whites, um, we're going to go ahead and paint it and then I'll show you how it turns out at the end. I just want to hold you. I just wanna look into your eyes and tell you that I want you. You know you make me feel so alive. Can't stop thinking about you day and night. Love it when you kiss me, love it when we touch. Every time I'm down here, yeah, you make me smile. You're the solution. You are, you are, you are, you are. Projects like this can seem very overwhelming if you don't know what to do um, and it's really not. So I want you to know in less than 30 minutes you can fix a windowsill and A either looks better for your house or B it's going to help look better for potential buyers coming in your house. And like I said, it does not take long. It's not a lot of work, especially if you team up with your spouse or a partner or a friend to do what you got to do. Um, and like I said, it's just buying like the right tools and having stuff on hand. So go ahead and grab one of those little fill in stick things. You should always keep sandpaper in your house. I just grabbed mine from the Dollar Tree. And then typically you have a paint leftover. Even if you build a house, there's leftovers. I know I always leave my paint. Like if we paint a room, I leave it. I like label it out in the garage or in the attic so if they have to touch something up so check your attic check your basement check your garage you should have leftover paint I mean sometimes you go through it but typically there's a little bit left so then you can do touch-ups and you don't even have to go buy fresh paint This is also a really good time to touch up baseboards or any trim while you have that color paint out. Make sure you're fixing any other issues, even if you just stick to that one room so you can just finish one room for the day. Um, while the paint's out, while the paintbrush is dirty, take the time and touch up any scuffs or dirt or anything that you need to work on. Like I said, baseboards, they normally get banged up pretty well if you vacuum a lot like me and like our baseboards are white and so they'll always get like black marks. It just takes a few seconds. But now that we have that space done, we're going to move on into my guest bedroom, which is basically George's bedroom. Um, this windowsill had taken a beating as well. It's our two front windows. He likes to look out. He likes to protect us. And so I'm going to go ahead and Chase is going to go ahead and we're going to fix this one just like we did the last one. This is also another really good time if you need to do any caulking around your windows. You could see here we needed it. In the other window, we didn't. But if you're gonna paint, definitely do this first. It's also white, so if you don't have to paint, it still blends in really well. So go ahead and check your window sills and do that. I did wanna show you George because he had zero remorse. We were in here cleaning up all of his destruction and he could care less. He was literally snoozing upside down on our bed. <laughs>
me what are you saying what game are we playing i want us to be for real now real now oh 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 I, so i wait 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 while you take your time i will wait 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 while projects like this are always so rewarding maybe it's just me but like i'll come back in here and just like glance at it, look at it. It just feels so nice to take something that was just so messy and dirty and destroyed and just make it look nice and fresh again. I love doing little bitty repairs like that that don't take long, they don't take a ton of money. It was easy. Um, but when I was finishing vacuuming this room, I noticed Tiger had done some scratching right here on our door jam. So we're gonna go ahead and fix this the same way we did the window sills. So maybe your window sills aren't messed up because you have little dogs like Tiger, but maybe they scratched a door or a baseboard or a door jam or something like that definitely try this product out so you can fix all those areas in your home It's little things like this that you don't think people notice, but they really do. And I feel like it really makes your house feel new and fresh. So even if you're staying, it's just nice to have those fixes done. And you can see all of this is not taking long at all. It's even taking the same tools, but it's really freshening up the house. So now we're gonna go ahead and move into um, like our mud room, laundry room area. Once again, we're gonna be fixing those same problems, which are big old claw marks. And this is so high up. I know it can't be tigers, so we know who it is. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and fill in this door just the same way we did originally. Now this one did look dirty, so I went ahead and cleaned it first because sometimes things just need a good cleaning. They don't even need to be fixed. So a lot of these scuffs, I thought we were gonna have to paint and sand and do all of that and it just needed to clean. So definitely always start with that. Baby, one day I'm hoping that you will be mine. Turn my life around. Something I want to point out or just clarify, this is all the original paint from the builder. So we're not having to paint like the whole area of most things. Um, like this piece of trim, I think we end up painting just like the whole board. Um, and then on the windowsills we did, but like on the other door frame, we're just kind of painting it and then feathering it out. If you're using a new paint, even if it's the same color, you may have to paint the whole area, just test it out. But keep that in mind. 
um, you don't want it to look splotchy. So if you need to paint the whole thing, just do it. Typically you don't just kind of feather it out at the end. But I also wanted to mention cleaning your doors. I think that's something we forget to do, especially like a garage door. They get so dirty and like the inside of the door. Sometimes we're really good about cleaning like the outside and the inside, but do that like middle bar down like the center of it. Um, mine was so bad and I didn't even realize it. And just taking a magic eraser made my door look new again. Got a restless mind. While we were in here, I had noticed where I keep my baskets, like in our laundry room bench, they had gotten really chipped up. So all we did was like sand them just ever so lightly and quickly just to make sure all the paint was done chipping and then we just painted over it. I wish I had done this sooner. Um, this piece looks brand new again and it was just looking so bad. So once again, while you have that paint out and that paintbrush, just keep going because you're not going to want to get it out later. So just get as much done in the window time that you have. Like say you have an hour, do as much as you can. Or if you can work on one whole room at a time, just really don't waste a good paintbrush because then you're going to have to wash it and clean it and let it dry. And then you're not going to want to get it back out. So just taking a few more moments to get something else painted really does add up and just make a difference in your home. If you're working on more than one room or one space in that particular day, I like to go ahead and clean up the room that we finished just so it feels complete. So technically you could head on to the next space and finish working, but by the time you're done, you're exhausted and you don't wanna go back and clean up those spaces and then you feel like your house is unfinished and messy. So I like to just take a few minutes, vacuum, wipe things down, and then when we go on to the next space, I know this one's like clean and tidy and done. Now it is time to fill all those holes in your wall. So this is no longer on George. This is on me and Savvy because we always get the itch to switch. And sometimes when I'm like rearranging, I go ahead and like hang up a piece and I don't like immediate fill the hole and paint it. So we have a few in our house. So we're gonna take you through. This is something I like to do all at once. So when I'm filling the holes, I walk around my entire house. I go into every bedroom. If you're gonna be selling your house, go ahead and even take down the photos and fill all the holes that you're not currently using. If you're gonna have something hung, you can leave those in, but look how many holes were behind this one photo in Savvy's bedroom. So just keep that in mind and that's gonna help you later. Once again, when I talk about staging your house to sell, you're gonna want to make sure you have all those holes filled behind those pieces. So don't forget if you wanna watch that video. But like I said, we're just gonna go through the whole house, fill those holes, and then I'll share the next step once we get to that point.
once that putty dries, you're gonna go ahead and sand it and it dries quickly. So by the time you're done filling all the holes in your house, just start back where you started at the beginning. I will say typically it's pink and it turns white when it dries, but ours is drying out. So it was like already white to begin with. We just added a little water. So if yours is dried out like mine, just add a little water and you can still make it work. Um, but if you go buy a new container of that, it will be pink, it will dry fast. Then you can just take um, sandpaper. I've heard a lot of people say they do this with like toothpaste. If you have like a small hole that's like a push pin, you can get away doing that. If you have like a screw or something where the hole's bigger, you're gonna actually need this type of putty to go ahead and fill it and then sand it. And then after that, we'll start painting it. Now, when we are filling holes and like painting and touch up, I do not paint the whole wall. Like it would take us forever if I had to paint all the walls in my house because I touched up a hole. So try your best just to have whatever leftover paint is or try to get the exact same color of paint. And then be sure just to feather out because even if you have the same color paint, if it's white, it may have yellowed a little bit or the paint could be dirtier on your walls or faded. So just do your best to put a little bit of paint on it. So use as little paint as possible to cover up those spots and then feather out so it's not just this like circle on your wall it like blends into it if that makes sense Now, while Chase has the paint out and he's touching up like any of the holes or scuffs on the wall, I try to go around with um, just one of those magic erasers and clean off any scuffs or anything that I can. Then I know if I can't clean it off with the magic eraser, he needs to come hit it with the paintbrush. But I don't want to have to paint things that I don't need to paint. So then it saves my paint <laughs> and I can do more touch ups. So I just kind of stay ahead of him and he knows if there's something left on the wall, he can paint it. Um, so it's just a good little system. So try to clean it first. If not, while you have that paintbrush out and that paint, it's the time to go ahead and do it. Um, we're also painting around the windowsill, like the frame, because Chase, or Chase, <laughs> George had scuffed it with like his nails too, but it wasn't white. It was the wall color. So we're gonna go ahead and touch up those. So this like window area just looks nice and new and fresh, either for new buyers or for our subs. Yeah, it's true. You may not think that cleaning windows is a home repairs or a home project, but it is if you haven't cleaned them in a while. If you watch any of my spring cleaning videos, I also show you how to open up the window so you can clean the outside, but just getting your windows nice and clean is gonna allow more light to come in. You're gonna wanna open them more, which gives you more like vitamin D and just sun. It's good for our souls especially if you're going to be selling your home you want to be able to open those windows you don't want like nose prints on them or kids fingerprints get them clean even if it's your house i promise you you're gonna love your house more if you can look out your windows and they're nice and sparkly clean so just take a few minutes even if there's nothing else you do in this video and clean your windows Another little project that is a lot like cleaning the windows is cleaning your handles. So if you haven't cleaned your handles in a while, this is definitely directed towards if you're listing, you should clean them anyways if you're gonna love your house and stay. But if you're gonna be listing, people are looking at what they're grabbing and I feel like most people don't think to clean their handles or their knobs before they show their house. And some of them are just so dirty and disgusting. And when I say handles, I even talking about like kitchen cabinet 
cabinet handles. Like they're gonna be looking at your cabinets. Your front door is huge. They're gonna be standing there with your realtor or whoever's showing them the house and they're gonna open up the front door and walk in. They're gonna open up any door that you have closed and they're gonna see those handles. So take the time to get those clean but even do it for yourself. Even if you're not gonna list, go ahead and get those handles clean for yourself. But now we're moving into our bathroom because my bathtub area had it chipped so bad. Anything around water with paint just does not hold up. So we're gonna start off with working on my bathtub and then we're gonna move over to my cabinets because they have not held up well at all. So the first thing I'm gonna do is use some type of brush and get off any chippy paint that you can. If you paint over chippy paint, it's just gonna come off. So make sure you get all of that off and then sand it so it's nice and fresh and then you can get it painted. I cannot tell you how much better our bathroom looks just by not having chipped paint when you walk in. Like Chase walked in that evening and was like, wow, it looks and feels so much better. And I was like, I agree. So just taking time to pull out that paint can and maybe even just like a little paper sander, it is going to work wonders on your house. Um, another tip if you're selling, it's really good to touch up paint because visually it looks better, but when potential buyers walk in and they smell fresh paint, they just kind of assume the whole house has been freshly painted. And so that's just another selling point. They're like, wow, this house was taken care of. It has fresh paint, which gets your house sold faster and for a lot more money. So definitely keep that in mind. Thank you so much for being here and watching today's video and making it to the end. It helps me so much, like even more than you know. If you enjoyed today's video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share it with somebody that you know could enjoy it, and then make sure you're subscribed. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.